Know Your Place. Yes, it's time to Know Your Place, which for the next half hour is alongside Patricia Hayes, Frank Thornton, John Graham, April Walker, John Glover, and, as a remarkable Ramsey, Roy Dotrice. <laughs> The once prestigious apartment building Worthing Court, Bloomsbury, has seen better days. So has its janitor, Ramsay Potts. Still, Ramsay's first thought is always for the comfort of the tenants, provided they don't interfere with his job. Flat 19? What are you doing in my lift? Coming down. I've just serviced that lift. Yeah, well... I don't want you up and down in it. <laughs> You smudged my brass work. Why, well, I had to press the down button, didn't I? Not with your sticky finger, you didn't. Use your elbow. <laughs> or a tissue. Come on, out of there. Let's rub that off. Will someone close those blasted gates? <laughs> we need the lift up here. Oh, you've done it now. Me? Yeah, Colonel Beavers wants a lift. Yes, sir, it's coming right away, sir. <laughs> Oh, stick your old lift. Listen to it. It's like two milk crates having an orgy. Oh, Ramsey! Yeah! Uh, what's that? Some old biddy stuck in your unrevolving doors. <laughs> your ungrateful wealth, that's Mrs. Spurgeon, the lady what does. And has done for many years. <laughs> I'm free. Uh, I'll give him a kick. Give him a kick? Yes. My doors? Oh, Ramsay, you will have to fix them doors. Yeah, nothing wrong with the doors. It's the people who keep going in and out. <laughs> Why weren't you here this morning? I do half day Saturday. This is Thursday. Oh, you spotted that. <laughs> well, I swapped. That's very irregular. Overslept this morning. See, family trouble last night. You haven't got a family. I was out hoping to start one. <laughs> When I get the chance, oh, it's a great life if you're weaken, eh? Well, I don't know about that. No, your idea of a good time sniffing disinfectant. <laughs> you want to come down the dog and pull it one night? They do a lovely curry in a bath. No, thank you. I prefer, I prefer to stay in and polish my keys. So you'll work eight hours Saturday instead? Oh, no, dear. No Saturday afternoons. That's in my contract. You're just doing Saturday morning. No, I'm doing my half day today. Yeah, that's right, today. Yes. And my contract says one half day a week. Yes. So I needn't come in Saturday. Hey. <laughs> now then, I can't stand here gossiping. You keep a girl from her work. What's the time? Ten past one. Oh, time for me lunch, eh? <laughs> Brass nerves. Give us the key to the broom cupboard, then. Oh, hey, now, these keys never leave my belt. If there's any unlocking to be done, I'll do it. Oh, anyone would think you've got the crown jewels in here. Ooh, yeah, what's that smell? That's my shellac and mess. Well, why don't you buy that stuff that cleans floors in half the time? Because it only half cleans the floors. <laughs> Modern earth sets muck. Yeah, here's a muck. Oh, Mum wants to move the handle. You smashed the light bulb oh, now. Dear. It's all dark in here. Oh, I'm scared. Ram, put yeah, your arms yeah, no, no, around me. Get off, keep off. This is it. Oh, you, you sex maniac, keep off. You done that deliberate. You lured me into your debaucher's den. And I'm not like that. Like what? Oh, all right, I'll give in. I am. <laughs> You can win any girl over with your glib tongue. Potts! Now keep up with keep. Colonel Vivas Potts! Coming, sir. Just handling something in here, sir. I can see that, Potts. <laughs> now, your blasted lift. Sir? Couldn't start the damn thing. Had to use the filthy stairs. Filthy? Yes. Yes. She, she hasn't cleaned them yet, sir. She couldn't make it this morning. Too busy trying to make it last night. Now, don't worry. <laughs> I'll see to it. By the time I'm back this evening. 
Chop, chop, yep. chop, 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 sir. Right, sir. Right away, sir. In two shakes of a gnat's knee, sir. Three bags full, sir, on for some twig. Now, Mrs. <laughs> Perkins, you should know your place, Colonel Beavers, is an intimate officer and gentleman of the ruling classes, one of our most furious residents. That's a matter of opinion. I prefer her up the penthouse. What's her name? Mandy. Well, that's floozy. Oh, we all know what she is. A painted obelisk. Well, her flat is lovely. Her uncle gives her some lovely stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uncle? You'll be lucky fancy man. Do you think so? He's old enough to be her father. And he's round her here often enough to be her milkman. <laughs> Gives Worth in court a bad name, he does. Never, never. Mandy brightens up the whole place. Now, that's enough, Elsie Spurgeon. It's time you started brightening up the place. Come on, chop, chop. Oh, Rosie, you are go. so masterful. The boy I love is up in the gallery. The boy I love is a Hello. I say, you over there. You're talking to me, dear. This lift seems to have broken down. Oh, dear. You better tell the janitor. I can't tell the janitor I'm in it. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're right in it. <laughs> you couldn't catch me in that contraption. It's going to go wrong one day, you mark my word. Yes. What did I tell you? Don't just lean on your mop, do something. Here, let's have a look at you through the cage. Isn't it your Mandy's uncle? Uh, yes. How is she? Oh, she's fine. Uh, look. Only I saw her in the nighty last time you called. Put that chicken under the doctor. <laughs> Look, no, never mind my, well, I'm my, my niece. I'm surprised that she don't catch her death dressed up like that. There's not enough rag on her to clean your specs with. <laughs> Look, how do I get this lift going? Have you tried pressing the button? Of course I have. Well, then that can't be it. <laughs> Try jumping up and down. Jumping up and down? Yes, you know, with your feet. Uh, uh, oh, very well. It may not do the trick, but it's good exercise. <laughs> Boy, I can hear you, you little perishers. Come on, out of my lift. Ramsey. Now, don't you take their part. I've told them before about skateboarding in my lift. <laughs> Human arms are liquids. Ramsey, it is a grown man. He should know better. <laughs> Maybe you can help. I've been trying to talk to this woman. You're not meant to stop between floors and talk to people. If you want a conversation, use the stairs. Look, I want to get out. Well, you can't get out there, not between floors. You'll have to stop in a proper place. I don't want to get out between floors. Do I look like an idiot? Hang on, I'll find my specs. <laughs> oh, you're the gentleman who visits the penthouse, eh? One thing about these old-fashioned lifts, you can see who's trapped in them. The, the, the lift won't move. Tell you what, I'll go down and press the button down there. Only a bird in a gilded cage, a beautiful sight. Will you be quiet, woman? I'm only trying to give you a lift, dear. Right, <laughs> right, hold tight. I am about to press the button. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, blast all. Oh, steady up there. Let it come down, gentle. No sudden movements. It hasn't moved at all. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better go and ring the lift company. Now, don't fuss. I know this old lift. She responds to me. No, well, hurry. I have an urgent appointment. Well, keep your hair on. I've had this before, and I remember what I did. I just removed the plate. So... And I took out these two wires and touched the ends. So. That sounds as if you've blown a fuse. Yeah, that's what happened last time. <laughs> Listen up, Ramsey. I'll bring the lift company. We don't need them. Hang on, I'm coming up. He's very stubborn, I'm afraid. He's one of the old school. They used to call him Bulldog. I know what I'd call him. All right, the fuse can be replaced in the lift. 
Oh, are you in there? Are you talking to me? Got any fuse wire on you? Yeah, of course not. You don't know till you've looked. Turn out your pockets. I am not in the habit of carrying fuse wire. Well, you should. I'll have to climb in with mine now. You want to wake up your ideas. You're never going to climb in that lift, sir. Only way. Oh, no, Ram. You're not as young as you was. What? I got the body of a man off my age. But it's twice as old now. <laughs> That's right, Elsie. You hold the access door while I squeeze through. Oh, you do yourself a damage. <laughs> Don't worry. There may be snow in the cellar, but there's still a fire on the roof. What's going on up there? Do not fear. Just get in my leg over. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> I have now grasped the cable and will soon descend to your level. Once there... I shall open the hatch in the roof of the lift. Right, here I go. <coughs> right. I shall now open the hatch. I shall now open the hatch. <coughs> I am now having difficulty opening the hatch. Look, couldn't they demolish the building? It might be quicker. Got it. You see, patience is the mother of obsession. <laughs> I shall now lower myself gently through the aperture and... <laughs> no! Oh, it's lucky you was here to break me fall. <laughs> Just get this lift now. Now then, now then. Switch the power off. Uh, uh, fuse wire. Uh, God knows why this place has to have a prehistoric lift. It's damn ridiculous. Heads will roll if I'm late, I can tell you. All right, keep your two P on. <laughs> I've replaced the fuse. I shall now switch on the power and commence our descent. Mm. Bit sluggish today, isn't it? <laughs> we aren't moving, man. The lift is stuck. And now you're stuck in here with me. What? 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 What are you going to do? I'll call the lift company. Now, I've told you not to interfere, Elsie. Still, there is one thing you can do for me. What? Call the lift company. <laughs> What's the number? Yeah, it's on this brass plate here. Excelsior Elevators, Ambassador 1067. Right. I'll go and ring them. How long will they be? Well, I never called them out before. You never know how long anybody will be these days. I called the gas man, and all he said was, it'll be morning or afternoon. Still waiting after two years. <laughs> you see, me mantle splutter. Then I had a leak in the bathroom. Oh, that was a nightmare, that was. Water. Oh, a mist down there. Oh, heavens. It's me, Mandy. I'm stuck. Thank God, someone who can talk sense. Harry King. Oh, are you all right? The penthouse pet. Oh, Harry Kins. Harry Kins, you should be in the house. You said the whips would be out today. Whips indeed. Now, you'll not be getting any whips out in this house while I'm in charge. <laughs> I'm talking about the House of Commons. House of... House of... Yeah, yeah. Are you one of them? <laughs> one of what? One of them politicians who say they've never had it so good. <laughs> Only it's rotten for everyone else. <laughs> so, you're an MP. I, I've always wanted to meet one. The right honourable Peregrine Tate. Mandy, shh. I have run the lift, people, Ramsey. When are they coming? And they... Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Mrs. Spurgeon. I like that leather cat suit. Where can I get one? <laughs> Do you think it's you two? Well, perhaps not. <laughs> I might look like a pygmy hippo. <laughs> what about this blasted lift? Oh, that ambassador number, what you give me, yeah. it's no good, it's all figures now. I had to dial the operator. Well? She had to ask the supervisor. It's 252. But when are the lift people coming? They're not. They went out of business in 1940. <laughs> Look, it's four o'clock. There's a vital debate starting in the house in ten minutes. For heaven's sake, woman, do something. Bring the fire brigade. Here, who are you giving orders to? I'm not the hired help, you know. Then what are you? Cleaning consultant. <laughs> four o'clock is my tea break. 
right. Elsie, you should know your place. This person is a right honourable Wintergreen Tate MP. <laughs> it's a patriotic duty to do as he says. He has to get out to do his urgent business in the chamber. <laughs> I'll get the fire brigade a ring for your sake, friend. Look, look, look. I, I, I'm in a, in a rather delicate situation here. I mean, yeah. please don't bandy my name about. Bandy it? I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> now, don't worry, Mr. Tate. I'll keep quiet, Mr. Tate. Look, I, I mustn't have any publicity. My uh, being at the young lady's flat and so on. Oh, you know? it's, it's all right, sir. I read the papers. <laughs> I mean, it's compulsory for MPs, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Chief. So it's OK if I come on your next job. Oh, yes, by all means. Oh, we're always glad to help the press here at the fire service. It could be a double-page feature, a day in the life of a London fireman. I, I hope you'll stress the importance of fire prevention. Yeah. Oh, fire station. Mm hmm. Right. Worthing Court. Oh, yes, we'll be there. Oh, well, now, here's your chance of a story, young man. Huh? Now you'll see how we put the fire in fire service. <laughs> oh, where did I say it was? <laughs> Good God, it's 5.15. I had to give my speech in half an hour. It's appalling. I know. I've heard it. It's all right. <laughs> the fire brigade are coming. Oh, thank heaven. I may just be in time to speak. Well, it's been very nice having you with us, sir. You're always welcome here. Good grief. Once I'm out of this madhouse, I shan't be coming back. Oh, thanks very much. That's, Amanda, you don't understand. Oh, I thought it was your wife who didn't understand you. And where is that blasted fire brigade? There. That's them now. And this is someone selling our cream. I'm just back to tell At last. Uh, uh, Mandy. What is it? Uh, well, it, it might be better if you weren't around. I'm staying. It's better than watching the television. Television? <laughs> I wouldn't have one in the house. If God had meant us to watch television, he wouldn't have given us the wireless. Here. You, oh, I see. This is urgent, man. Where's the fire there? Oh, there's no fire. This is a lift job. Back in a moment, we, we'll get the torch up here. Oh, I expected flames, towering infernos, birds jumping under blankets. Not two old codgers stuck in a lift. Old oh, codgers? If I was out there, you wouldn't say that. No. There'd only be one, then. <laughs> Hello, you're a big girl. I mean, if she was stuck, I'd get a column, but not two old caps. Old caps, I'll have you know, this is a right honourable margarine tape, MP. <laughs> oh, an MP. You live here, then? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I just called in to ask the way. <laughs> Where? <laughs> uh, the way out. <laughs> You friends with Miss uh, right, First name? Don't tell him, Mandy. <laughs> You're a reporter, then. That's right. Hey, you look as if you might have a story to sell. Yes, I might have. Do you want to come upstairs for a drink? No, why not? No, no, no. no. Uh, look, you, you mustn't believe anything she says. She's not a politician, is she? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm 24. 24 uh, I want to win this world working films and help in a leper colony. <laughs> For God's sake, get me out of here. Hold on, hold on. Just get the torch lit. Here, what's that? Oxyacetylene. <laughs> Start on this bar, Jack. What are you doing? Cut these bars, pack through the side, and lift you out. Splendid. Stop, if you destroy my lift, it won't go. Well, it, it doesn't go. Do you want us to get you out or not? Yes, yes. No, no, arm this lift over my dead body. Get your oxo and gelatine out of here. <laughs> it's the only way to release you. I'd rather die here than have you arm this whole lift. <laughs> On which I have lavished so much care. <laughs> oh, dear, what have you done to Nurse me? Nurse it with me own hands. <laughs> he's pegging out. He's not pegging out, he's huffing on his brasswork. 
You've taken the bloom off with your sweaty palm. I'll buff it up. Ignore this yeah. fool and get to work. Well, I can't. Without his say so, he represents the owners. Now, it's not life or death. It is to me. I have to speak in the house. Oh, yes, but I mean, you're not, like, in a manner of speaking, on fire, are you? You'll have to pack up, Jack. No, no, no. Oh, yes, come on, lad. Back to the stage. Come back. No, I, I'll miss my speech. The PM will flame me. Ren, your friend Cyril Spinks. Yes? He's got a lift just like this. He could fix it. Oh, Spinksy. Else, go and get him quick. Right. How won't be long. Oh, he'll have us out, sir. Don't fret. How long? Well, he's just across the road, sir. Caretaker in a block like this. He'll free this lift before you can say wintergreen tape. <laughs> Half past seven. Where is the woman? I can't think, sir. It's only across the road. Perhaps she went the long way. Still, no rush now. You've missed your speech. If we don't get out soon, I'll miss the division. The vital vote. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Here she is. Never fear. Else is... Else? No, Spinksy. Oh, Ram. What a time I made. Yeah, but where's Spinksy? Look, I went over like you said. I knocked on the door. No answer. So I thought, well, I'll go to the flat next door. Yeah. That's number 22. It's strange, isn't it, that? Because you'd think it should be number five since Spinks is number, number four. That's right, yes. But anyway... Is he coming? Well, this very nice woman opened the door. Oh. You'd think they'd be stuck up over there, wouldn't you? Yeah. There's not a mongrel or a dustbin inside, but no. She was ever so nice, oh. she was. And, oh, Ram, you should see her vacuum cleaner. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she said, funny enough... He had been in, but now he was out. Oh. So... Where is he? Up the pub. <laughs> that is what she said, so I went over. Anyway, talk about coincidence. Who should be in there? But, oh, you'll never guess, Ram. No, well, go on, tell me. Springer. No. Yes. I sure I haven't seen her since being No, there. it can't be, I thought, not with her pancreas. <laughs> but it isn't, is it? Yeah, yeah. And she oh, said... Oh, oh, now, now, yes. never, yeah, never mind about her St Pancras. Where's Spinsky? Oh, he wasn't there. They think he's at his sister's up Camberwell, but she's not on the phone. Right, else. Only take you 20 minutes there and back. Chop, chop, smartish. <laughs> Something beginning with ill. Come on, sir. Ruined. Finished. Disgraced? No, no, none of those starts with L. <laughs> now, you can do better than that. Ten fifteen. I've missed the division. Well, they'll only duck your day's pay, won't they? <laughs> Come on. I spy with my little eye something beginning with L. Give up? Seven hours we've been here. Well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you then. Lift. See? <laughs> I thought I'd make it easy for you. I wonder where Elsie is now. Ah, I'm back, Ah, oh, here she is. Hello, Elsie. Where's Spinksy? Oh, I must sit down a minute. Oh, what a to do. When I got to Camberwell, I was lucky. I nearly missed his sister. She was on her way to the bingo, but I just caught her. Anyway, yeah. she said Cyril always goes up his allotment of a Thursday and I might catch him there. Is he coming in? Well, of course, I had to wait 40 minutes for a number 12 to Dulwich. Well, and then three it? came along. Yeah, well, where's Spencer? <laughs> well, there. <laughs> but I brought you some parsnip. Parsnip, sure. Yeah, that's... <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This is horseradish. Oh, well, it was dark. <laughs> After all that, I needed a drink, so I called in the pub. <laughs> What's the matter with him? He missed his division. Oh, yes, that was on the telly in the bar. The government defeated by one vote, they say. <laughs> Dear, might have been two votes. Yes. It's going to be one of them general elections. Oh, I see. So, uh, Spinky's not coming. Sorry, yet. no. Well, I'll see you in the morning, Ram. <laughs> We're both rot here. No, sir, no. I shall have to take emergency action. Huh? Something I have resisted all evening. Hardly unethical. But there is no alternative now. Hold tight. I don't believe it. We're going up. What did you do, man? Promise you won't tell. What did you do to move the lift? 
I press the up button. But, but I pressed it. Ah, before I changed the fuse. And you was naughty. You see that notice? Do not press buttons between floors. You mean it was six, seven hours ago? We could have gone up. Ah, but only by breaking the rules. <laughs> Uh, here we are, sir. Now, let me help you across the foyer. You seem a bit depressed. <laughs> and uh, you won't let on about what we just did. See, a rule broken is a step to anarchy. <laughs> if people kept pressing those buttons between floors, the lift would break down in no time. <laughs> the car is outside. <laughs> you know, careful, I'll help you through the revolving doors. Just room for both of us. Hello? Oh, there's a bit of trouble here. We are now stuck in the revolving door. <laughs> Never mind, sir. Soon have us out, sir. Don't worry. Roy the Freeze and Patricia Hayes have been urging you to know your place. With the help of Frank Thornton, John Graham, April Walker and John Glover. The programme was written by Andrew Palmer and Nell Brennan and produced by Edward Taylor.